Okay, here is the Hammond Model T582C that we picked up at Goodwill. Uh, I believe it was two days ago for ten dollars and sixty-eight cents or sixty-nine cents. Uh, turn the light down. Okay, so um, when I first got it, it made a lot of noise, so I was looking online. Um, I didn't know anything about it, so I figured it was a, uh, I figured it was a, the belt on the Leslie was loose, which it was a little loose, but that wasn't the noise. It was actually the tone generator was bone dry, so I oiled it with this oil that's in the back, that was in the back of the console, and it is called, you wouldn't guess, Hammond Organ Generator Oil, and, uh, there's two cups on the tone generator, so you fill each one up. Let it drain, fill it again. And on this model, the T series, there's also two reservoirs on the generator. So uh, put a little bit in there too. And uh, it took two days for that oil to soak through, but now it's running and it's not making any noise at all. And uh, because, uh, from what I understand, it, there's a trough with thread. And uh, the threads kind of work like a capillary effect, and they soak to each moving tone wheel. So it can take days for that oil to seep all the way through that trough because it's, I mean, it's um, almost the length of the whole organ. So anyway, just want to do a little demo on all this cool stuff that it does and the great sound that it has. So first thing I'll start, uh, start with the bottom keys. Uh, these two knobs all the way at the end control the bottom keys they're called it says lower preset so right now nothing's working if I put tone bars on so it's just a hair okay now with this knob I can control the, the sound with the draw bars Right now, this one is not working, but it's an easy fix, so I'm going to get that fixed in. Or, we can use Ensemble, which is a preset sound. kind of sounds like just your typical church organ. Also, the Leslie switch. That's slower, fast. Off and on. It works off and on. So, that's really cool. Top keys. We have uh, all these presets. We have either tone bars, so we can use these draw bars to get that tone that you like, whatever tone that it may be. Or we can go the preset string. Full tibias, I think that's how you pronounce it. Also sounds very similar to the ensemble. You would probably use this in a church application. Theater brass, very similar. There's some percussion sounds here that don't really sound that great. Um, but how we would access these is we would use the tone bar and percussion knob. Okay, and we'd find our tone with the tone bar and then we'd select which percussion instrument we want to emulate, which they don't sound anything like it. This is supposed to be a banjo, xylophone, marimba, uh, guitar, turn it down, celesta, and then there's also a reiterate knob. When you press that down, you, you get a uh, percussive sound on the keys, like a da 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 for example, banjo. We could turn the tempo down on that. Or up. Marimba. But these, you know, not really useful effects in my opinion. Um, hey, honey. Also, there's a built-in rhythm machine. It's a built-in rhythm machine, which is uh, kind of cheesy, but it's cool. Uh, auto accompaniment here, so I'll turn that on. 
And what I have to do is switch this knob. It says silent and sound. Put sound on. Tempo knobs here. Volume of the beats here. So right now I'm using the bass pedal. And we have a rhythm. These Now these white and black keys represent all your different drum beats. And this is the volume for them. So we can run through. Turn that volume down. I'm going to kill the speaker. And then these star keys, I think they're uh, Latin rhythms. That's what they sound like to me. I think that's the only difference. I'm not really sure, though. And uh, these knobs, you can actually use your... When you hit these keys, they can have a bass drum built into it or a snare. But like I said, this isn't stuff that I would use. It's just kind of a extras that are in there. Um, also, we have reverb. So let's get down to the bottom keys. We have reverb one. It's very faint. Reverb two. It's a little stronger. And both of them together is, is even more. So I guess you could call that reverb three. So oh, anyway, I'm just going to do a little quick demo of some chords that I've been learning. And... Anyway, it's got a good sound. I'm still learning how to play it. But anyway, this is uh, that was my demo of the Hammond T582C.